Yeah, sure is, Emily. Hi. Yes, it seems the governor of Maine is blaming places like this one for its drug problem, although, although the people here say, don't point the finger at Lawrence. I don't think it's okay. I don't think anybody pointing a finger down at Lawrence is okay because I, I, I love my city. Take a stroll around this hardworking city along the Merrimack and you'll find that people here take great offense to the governor of Maine's recent statement. During a regional conference of governors in Boston, the embroiled Paul LePage blamed his state's worsening opioid crisis on drug dealers from Lowell and Lawrence. Why are you blaming the city of Lawrence for things like that when things like this happen all over the United States? It's not a city problem, it's a national problem, so I, he's, got, he's got no right to say anything like that. I'm sure he's scared. Lawrence Mayor Daniel Rivera says he'd like to have a face-to-face -face conversation with the governor, who sits in an office 130 miles away from the streets and the people of his town. I think it's not only unfair to the citizens of Lawrence, but it's also unfair to people who are dealing with this crisis. Meanwhile, this morning, Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker saying the opioid crisis doesn't discriminate and doesn't have any boundaries. I think this is one area where the region, uh, where the New England region, uh, may be able to engage the federal government in a collaborative approach to, uh, to doing something about trafficking. And that's the way I think we should be thinking about it. Now back to the uh, mayor of Lawrence. He doesn't shy away from the fact and admits there is a drug problem here in town, but he is also working hard to make sure those who need it and want it get help. We're live in Lawrence this afternoon. Doug Meehan, WCVB, News Center 5.